Welcome everybody to the LIGBT Sports Shot Series number seven, final shootout from AMF East Meadow. Hi, this is Steve Sanders, hope you had a great weekend. We had another great tournament here today, 130 entries packed to Bowenton and to create a $6,350 prize fund. Let's meet the four bowlers that made it to the shootout. First up, from Smithtown, New York, Miss Donna Ryan. Donna has a 169 sports shot average, getting 36 pins. Next to her is Al Green from Westbury, New York. Al has a 138 sports shot average, getting 64 pins. And next to him is Joe Honig from Levittown, New York. Joe has a 144 club average, getting 59 pins. And last but not least, the one with the highest average, giving everybody pins, Joe Labargo. From Bayside, New York, Joe has a 194 sports shot average, getting 14 pins. Okay, Bola, shake hands, and let's get this match rolling. Great tournament. We're hoping for a great final four. I'm sure we'll get it. And we're bowling for $1,000 first prize, 600 second, 400 third, and 300 fourth. All right, again. Now, Al Green's getting the most handicap, 64. Five less is Joe Honig. Then it drops precipitously to Donna Ryan, who gets 36 pins, and Joe Labardo giving everybody pins. Just 14 pins in handicap. First up, our only lefty in the final, Mr. Joe Honig. There he goes. Going a little high. Ooh. Two, four, seven, ten. Now they're bowling on the PBA cheetah pattern. 35 feet, a lot of bowling on these lanes today. They have not been re-oiled. So hopefully some semblance of the shot still remains. Otherwise, Bo, it's gonna be tough today. All right, here comes Donna. Donna bowling great in the finals, and she leaves the one, two, four, ten. So, two washouts. Turn the lights on, the TV on, and gets a little tougher than the round before. All right, Joe, this one's makeable, but it's tough. He's actually staying in his right line. He's gonna go high. All right, he gets his foot, gets the two, four, seven, but leaves the 10. So we've got our first open of the match. Donna a great all day. Shot 7.23 to qualify in the first squad. And Donna giving it a whirl, and she misses the head pin. She gets her nine count, leaving just the head pin. All right, Joe Labargo on the left. With the high average in this shootout. 195 up to 194 on a score shot is quite an accomplishment. All right, here comes Joe. Joe off the corner. Ten in the pit, Joe. Looking for his eighth title. He loves these corner shots. He bowls in every tournament that features this kind of pattern. All right, here comes Al Green. Al. Ten in the pit. Good shot by Al. Al shot an amazing 808 series to lead the second squad, that's the three o'clock squad. He pulled the first squad, didn't do well, but the second squad, he finally found the line and took advantage of it. All right, Donna. Oh, came in a little light, leaving just the seven. Good shot for Donna. All right, Joe Honig up for a second frame. Joe shot 713 to qualify for the finals. He's looking for his first LIGBT title. So is Al Green. All right, here comes Joe. This one a little wide again. Leaving a long rail. One, three, six, and ten. All right, Donna shooting for the seventh pin. And well made. Donna, great bowler. One of the top women bowlers here on Long Island. Always bowling with a friend, Karen Cappinelli. Three of the four bowlers are seniors here in the final match. The only bowler under 50 is Joe Lombardo, who's at 33 years young. All right, here comes Joe. Joe. 
spare, Joe. That's not an easy conversion. We played it well. This is a PBA cheetah. If you lined up correctly, you can score on it, but if not, it was a struggle. Cut scores today, low. And six. 60s to cash. All right, here comes Al Green whipping it a little wide, and he leaves the one, two, four, ten. Another washout by these bowlers. So Al, Al, 60 years young. He joined the LIGBT in 2013, so he's been around 11 years with us, still looking for his first title. All right, Joe, going wide. Oh. Bringing 10 pin. Joe knows he needs a string to make up for that handicap difference, and that ball was great, but he got robbed. All right, Al, looking to slide it over. He's got it. Oh, great try, Al. That was a great attempt, but the six went around the 10. Oh, excuse me, the one went around the 10. All right, go to the bottom, go now. Joe shooting 719 to qualify for the final. Joe all over that 10. No problem there. So Joe Labargo, clean it for the first two frames. Everybody else has an open frame. All right, third frame, Joe Honig on the left, Donner on the right. Joe's been a member almost from the inception of the LIGBT. He started in 2008, he joined in 2009. Uh-oh, Joe going Jersey, missing the head pin though, leaving just the one, two. So Joe kind of looking for his shot right now. Joe's 56 years old, looking for his first LIGBT title. All right, Donna Ryan. From Smithtown. Come on, Donna. Going on light, leaving the eight pin. Donna is an original member of the LIGBT joining in 2008. She has three titles over the 16 years she's been a member. Very consistent both. All right, here comes Joe. Joe making another spare. So Joe, if starting with an open, has two spares. All right, here comes Donna. Oh, over that to eight pin. She was a little nervous, but it held. She kept the speed. Finishing up, third frame will be Joe Labargo on the left, Al Green on the right. Joe Labargo is in the furniture industry. Al Green is in, in sales. He's at Levittown Lane. Hi, right, Joe. Ten in the pit. He's got a great look. And he's going to need every strike to make up this handicap difference. All right, Al Green. Uh, working open, open. Rip in the rack for a strike. Nice shot, Al. So Al's got two strikes on the right lane and open on the left. So right now, into the third frame, Al Green's got the lead because of all his handicap. Second is Joe Honey. Third is Donna Ryan. And fourth is Joe Labargo. That's really all because of the handicap difference. All right, Donna, working off a spare. All right, likes this one. Oh, a little light on the head pin, leaving the 10. Again, top prize today, a thousand. Second place is 600, third 400, fourth $300. Great prize fund for a great day. All right, here comes Joe, going high. All right, getting away with just the six pin, not bad. LIGBT. He's off next week, returns April 21st over at Levittown Lane for a house shot tournament. Donna, all over that 10th pin. Nice there, Donna. So Donna, after the first frame open, has three consecutive nine spares. Donna pulls out a Valero Comac. She's a homemaker, raising her children. All right, Joe. Is it 
clinical trainer and educator. Uh oh, this one could be trouble. And he misses the easy spare. So Joe has the second open frame here in frame number four. Joe also has been a member since 2009. He's got some long-term members. Oh, Al Green going wide. Wow, going around the oil, tan in the pit for a double. So Al going around the oil. Interesting strategy there. Why Joe's pointing it to the gutter. Al's starting the ball away from the pocket. Going well. Different ways to attack the cheetah. Right, here comes Joe looking for the double. Oh, that's 10 in the pit. A great shot. So Joe striking three of his first four frames. LIGBT is running a doubles tournament at AMF Wantour. It's a handicap double thrown on April 28th. That's a Sunday. 1.30 start. Check out our website, LIGBTour.com for more details. All right, Donna Ryan, fifth frame, working on three consecutive spares. All right, Donna, with great form. Oh, get that shaking 10 pin down. Good shot, Donna. Another 10 pin. That's several in a row for her. All right, Joe Honey, who's still searching for that line to the pocket. And Joe going Jersey. This time leaving the four pin. Last time he left going high, going leaving a six pin. Donna looking for the 10 pin conversion. And she makes it. Well done. Nice crowd thrown behind. We need to watch who's gonna win LIGBT House Shot Series number seven. We're down to the final four from a start of 130 entries. Alright, Joe. Goes out of AMF Babylon. That one, he's got, he's covered that perfectly, the four pin. So Joe, after missing a one pin spare in frame four, starts off frame five with a nine spare, as did Donna. Now Green on a double, looking to expand his lead. One flips it out. Ten in the pit! So Al Green dominating early here in this final four shootout. All right, here comes Joe LaBarco. Yes, he gets the 10 pin down for a triple. So he's trying to stay with Al Green right now. All right, after five frames, we've got Al Green leading. Joe LaBarga was moving to second, Donna in, Donna, uh, Joe Honig in third, and Donna in fourth. All right, sixth frame, folks. Donna on the left lane, liking it. Ten in the pit! Well done, Donna. Finally got that 10 pin to go down. All right, Joe Honey. Uh-oh, Joe to go Jersey. He takes the head pin, leads go double wood 2-8. He's got a shot here. This is a good shot. Perfectly executed. Well done, Joe. All right, now Al Green looking for his fourth strike in a row, trying to keep Joe Labargo at bay. Joe Labargo with a triple. All right, Al Green, this one he tugged a little. Ring in ten pin, he tugged it a little, caused the ball to break a little late. So that ends his string at 
three. Now Joe LaBarco, this is his chance now. Joe needs a strike here to put a little pressure on Al. Here he comes, Joe going high. Ten in the pitted held pocket. So Joe picking up some important pins against that, the leader Al Green. And now covering that spare perfectly. All right, seventh frame, folks. Lucky seven. Hopefully for these bowlers. Donner on the right, looking for a double. Joe on the left, working off a spare. Donner could use a double here to put some pressure on the other two bowlers, Al and Joe. Coming up. Rip in the rack for a big double for Donna in frame number seven. Looking for his first strike. This one's got a chance. Now it comes in a little light, leaving the 3 5 10. All right, Al Green wants to get back on his string of strikes. He's working off his spare here in frame number seven. And this one looks good. Oh, goes a little high with a four pin. That opens up another door for Joe LaBarco to cut that lead down. Hold on, Joe. Honig, what a great spare. The three, five, ten. Well done, Joe. I'm sure he's a little upset when he did in frame number four, missing that easy six pin. But he converts a good split there. Now Green holds the spare. All right, big shot for Joe Labar. It's on four in a row. Needs another strike to get closer to the leader, Al Green. He's got a chance. Dripping the four and it goes down. A huge break for Joe Labar. Five in a row. Yeah. All right, that cuts Al Green's lead to 16 pins. We have three frames to go. We're entering frame number eight. All right, Donna on the left. She's looking for a triple here in her eighth frame. This looks good, going high. All right, gets the seven down. Leaving just the 6-10. All right, Joe Honey up on the right lane. Frame number eight for him, working off the spare. Oh, fishing for a line. Yes, Ken. Oh, he gets the eight pin out, leaving just the two pin. All right, we are running out of frames, folks. This is frame number eight. Right now it's a two-person match between, oh, Donna, an unusual open for her. So it is a two-person match between Joe Labargo and Al Green. 16 pins separate them. Three frames to go. Joe Labargo, though, can cut it to six pins with his right. All right, nice spare by Joe. He would have made both the two in the eight if that eight stood up again. Okay, Al Green going first. Little strategy here, looking to put pressure on Joe. But if Al doesn't strike here, Joe will control his own destiny. If he strikes out, he can't lose. All right, this is a good shot by Al. Ten in the pit! So Al, if Joe strikes, will have a six pin lead. Right, 
This is you. This is you. Joe wants the title. He's got a strike on this ball. And that's Al does something unusual in the last two frames. Uh oh, this one's a little wide. Ten in the pit! We're down to six pins going into the final two frames. What a match and what a great performance by Joe Labargo. Joe not being intimidated by this huge handicap difference. Joe Labargo has given out 50 pins, and he's now only down six with two frames to go. But if they both strike out, now Green wins the title. All right, here comes Donna. Ripping the rack! What a great shot by Donna in frame number nine. Joe Honig, his ninth frame, still looking for a strike. Come on, Joe. There it is. There it is. Ten on the deck. All right, the long wait is over for Joe Honig. Finally striking in frame nine, frame number nine. All right, Al Green, ninth frame, huge shot here. He needs a strike to hold on to the lead. No. Oh! An amazing break. Threw the ball a little wide, but got the two in a full lead. Joe needs a strike here to stay within six. All right, Joe Labar. He's got six strikes in a row. He needs number seven to have a title. Here he goes. Ten in the pit, he says, Al Green, take that. All right, going into the final tenth frame, we've got a six-pin difference between Joe Labargo and our leader, Al Green. Right now, Joe Honig's in third, ten pins ahead of Donna Ryan. Again, top prize is 1,000 first, second 600, third 400 for 300. Joe trying to hold on to third place. All right, Joe Honig looking for the double. All right, leaving the three, five, six. All right, Donna, if she strikes here, she will could be tied with Joe. Needs a strike, going high. Leaves the 310. All right. So if she marks this, forces Joe to mark to hold on to third place. She goes first. Hold on, no, she misses it. She's gonna settle for fourth place as she opens twice in the eighth and tenth frame. So she finishes with 170 scratch, 206. And Joe Honig making the spare. Well done, Joe. Joe Honig will finish up first before Al Green gets up first. So Al, using the strategy to get up first to shut out Joe Labargo, and I'm sure Joe Labargo doesn't care. He's got his own game to focus on. All right, Joe finishing up with 166 scratch, 225 handicap. <laughs> All right, Val Green doubles, he shuts out Joe. Let's watch this first shot. He needs to strike. Ten in the pit, what a great shot. All right, Joe needs this strike to stay within six pins of Al. So Al 
Joe and Joe are duking it out here, going into the tenth round. All right, here's the shot. Al Green strikes, he wins the tournament. Al Green doesn't strike, Joe needs the strike to win the tournament. Yep. Here's the shot. Uh-oh, he pulls this a little. Look at this. Oh! That was not, that was his worst shot of the day. So now it's all up to Joe Labargo. If he strikes, he wins. If not, he finishes second. Joe Labargo, he's gonna make a good shot whether he carries it. That's the question. There it is! The going a little high. So Joe Labargo finishes second, bowled an unbelievable 269 scratch game. But with all of Al's handicap, you couldn't beat him. Nice bear for Al. He finishes with 225. Scratch 289 handicap. And Joe Labargo finishes with 269, 283 with his handicap, missing the title by three sticks. Congratulations, Al Green. 289 wins $1,000. Second place, Joe Labargo, 283, uh, earned 600. Third is Joe Honig, 225, earning 400. And last but not least, Donna Ryan with the 206, finishing up with $300. Taking a look at the final scores, we thank everybody for showing and joining us today. And there's our champion, Al Green, holding the winner's check. Congratulations, Al! his first LIGBT title. Well done, Al. Congratulations on your first victory. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you in a couple of weeks from Levittown Lanes. Good night, everybody.